you will get a chance to meet and ask questions of Dr. Wallace and get to know him the way the advisory committee has got to know him over the past month. On behalf of the Student Government Association, it's my pleasure to welcome you to the Student Forum of Presidential Candidate Dr. Chris Roberts. Thursday, January 20th, Auburn University's lone finalist to fill the seat of current president Jay Gouge after his second retirement, Dean of Engineering Christopher Roberts, held a student forum where he fielded questions from Auburn students and addressed their questions and concerns. There was significant student turnout with students filling half of the Melton Student Center ballroom to hear the prospective new president answer questions. Among those asking questions, there was one student that inquired about Dr. Roberts' policy on relating to students. Uh, so I use that to say, what's your plan and your vision for how to relate, how you relate to students? And I know you'll be extremely busy, so open door policy may be off the table. But what is your plan and your vision for relating to the average student as well as student leaders here at Auburn? Yeah, I, I, I intend to keep uh, policy similar to what I have, and it is pretty wide open. Uh, I like talking to people. You learn a lot when you talk to people. I mean, obviously, schedules get busy and all, but we, but we do you know, try to make sure that we always feel accessible to people. So we will definitely uh, work towards that and hopefully achieve that. After a full half hour of answering questions, Dr. Christopher Roberts ended the student forum by stating that he was proud of the students that came and that the student body was exactly why he wants to be the next president of Auburn University. Even after time had expired for the question answering period of Dr. Roberts' student forum, both lines of the microphones up front were still full. Students were clearly very eager to get their question answered by the prospective new president of Auburn University. This has been Blake Phillips, Eagle Eye TV.